Okay, uh, we're going down a different part of Carter Creek. Probably gonna have a couple more videos of Carter Creek because it's honestly a really, really long, giant creek. So, of course, I brought my uh, new favorite rod, the new edition. It's the uh, seven foot heavy, fast H2O Express rod combo, rod and reel combo. Um, the gear ratio is not too fast. This is super stained water. Wow, it is like, like poop. Bring it low. Low center of gravity. There we go. How the hell am I gonna cross over? I don't wanna just fish this spot. Other gar. What is this? A little bitty bass. So there's a uh, long nose gar, and you got these little bass. Nope, sit still. That is the smallest bass I've ever caught in my life. Little guy. But he hit that bandito bug. Alright, thanks for biting. Go ahead and get back. Good luck to you because there's a big ass car here. Might have to throw on the jig, because this ain't working. There we go. Finally. No. What kind of bass is this? I forgot. It is looks like a male. Razor sharp teeth. Let's go ahead and get it back. Man, I really I don't know what happened. Good as is, you don't even need the pinchers, the big ones for a bandito bug. If you're just down to these, this little bit, it should work all the same. Looks like a little beetle. And they will take it. Tension. Okay. Bass number three. You gotta be careful with these creek bass, man. Every time you hook one and then try to lip it, they decide to like give one more huge hit. It looks like uh, his tail's a little bloody. They might be starting to spawn. Temperature's just right. This one's a female. She looks like her belly just full of eggs right now, probably. Let's get her back so that way uh, she can go do her thing. I need to find out what kind of bass those are. They look different than your largemouth bass. I mean, they're largemouth, but they're like a certain species of uh, largies.
Yes. Oh man, this is a big one. I knew there was one in the tree. This is a big in for a creek. Sister, sister. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this behemoth. Hold up, hold up. Let me get a couple of, oh shit. Should've dropped the hook. Should've dropped the hook, damn it. Damn, no, no, no. in water okay first of all let me get some shots already it's already done whoo all right that's the bite that I was hoping to get this one right here it might not be a giant it's probably about a pound and a half but for water such as these where it's maybe like three feet in only certain spots I mean you got to go a good ways before you can actually find a deep pocket yeah this is this is what you want right here making a bed look at that tail it's right at the bottom it's been cut or no I, don't think, I think that might have been my doing but this is good stuff let me go ahead and get them uh let me go ahead and release them real quick and then see if i catch another one i'm gonna flip in that tree now now that i know the big ones are in there Cool, cool, cool. Now I know. There we go. There we go. There he was. He's the one that blew up on it. There, jeez. That's the one that blew up on it. But uh, ended up poking me with this damn hook. So, this might be the last one. I'm gonna give one more. Nah, I'm done. It's not even on there anymore. I don't know where it went. But uh, there's another one. That's one of the day. Um, that's pretty much it. God, whatever's out here that's dead stinks. Like, blech. That pretty much concludes today's video. Hit up uh, Carter Creek again. I would have caught more in that one spot, but of course somebody had to fish there and couldn't move. But it's whatever. Um, I moved around, caught a, caught a good sized bass in a small creek. And uh, yeah, I lost count. Maybe I caught like four or five of them. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, I got a couple more videos to drop right after this one. Both are going to be at the lake. One's going to be in Lake Ryan. And the other one's going to be in Fin Feather. So I'll leave a little clip here to show y'all what's coming. Anyways, this is RB Angler, and I'm out. <laughs>